What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Guava Juice 2. We're gonna make some cookies today, and look at these ingredients. We have eggs, we have butter, we got cookie mix, we got Pam, we got bowl, we got whoa, we got dang. So first thing we're gonna do today is break an egg. Okay, cool. Take the yolk out. Of course, that's not the most efficient way to break the egg into the bowl. <laughs> but, you know, you can break it any way you want. As long as you get the shells out. I should have done that. I regret my choice. Why did I do that? Oh, oh, you know what they say, if you have a shell, that means you're gonna get a good calcium. One egg, one stick of butter. We're gonna put the butter right here. Look at that. Just like that. And if you've never baked cookies before, all right, let me set my microphone here. So if you've never baked cookies before, here's what we're gonna need. Cookie batter. Once you place your cookie batter and your eggs into the bowl, we're gonna mix it until it gets into this nice consistent uh, dough form, okay? So this might take a little bit of time, but eventually what it will do is it'll make cookie dough, all right? Cookie dough's delicious. If you take me to Cold Stone or Ben & Jerry's, all I'm gonna get is cookie dough. Look at that, look at this, all right. We're making cookies. We're making good cookies. Let's give this video to 100,000 likes. If you do, I'm gonna give everybody who comments the video $1,000. <laughs> Oof, look at that. And it really just becomes cookie dough, which is, ah, look at that. Don't eat this. Oh, there's nothing better than like raw cookie dough, but I wouldn't suggest eating it, but it's because it's really bad for you. You might get salmonella. Look at that. Look at that. This is how you bake a really, really, really amazing cookie. There you go. Just like that. What you wanna do is grab your cookie, just like this, and just roll it to however big you want, all right? If you wanna make a pizuki, go ahead and make a pizuki. Put the whole thing in the pan. But we're not making pizuki, maybe for another video. There you go, these are gonna be good, big cookie dough shells. Woo! Look at you! Ooh. I feel like these, these are a little bit too big, but hey, you know what they say. If you can't beat them, eat them. And then we're gonna do mini cookies. Oh, I've always wondered this. What happens if you just like do that, okay? Is that gonna make it taste better or is it gonna be weird? What if you just sprinkle them like that, you know? Everyone's so used to this format. Why can't you just do this one, you know? It's gonna taste equally amazing. Okay, let's make that really tall. So if you go over here, you gotta set it to 350 degrees. And then, we wait. Welcome back. It's a bit about like eight minutes and uh, let's check up on this cookie, shall we? Wow, look at this. Mmm, great. So, first things first, in order to get the cookies out of the cookie oven, I don't have mittens, so we're gonna do our best to do it without mittens. Okay, one done. Make sure you use mittens. I'm just being really dumb. There we go. Oh, look at that. This, this looks like a loaf of bread. Tell me why that looks like a, either a loaf of bread or burnt marshmallows. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is gonna be a challenge. Okay. Ooh, boy. Ready? Three, two, one. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Who needs mittens when you can use your natural skin? You're born with skin, use it! I swear, I'm not under any influence right now. I'm just, I'm just challenging myself to do things that I normally do not do. Oh, wait a second. There's a spoon. Nice. Okay, so first things first, we have to wait for it to cool because if you just eat it as is, it's gonna be a little bit uh, soft unless you really like it soft. But in order for it to cool down, it goes through a process of coolation and then it gets thick. You see this dinosaur looking thing right here? Mm, look at that. If I don't wait for it to cool down, it's gonna be a little bit, you know, a little bit mushy. So. Oh. Hmm. So for this, that's what I'm saying. If you don't wait for it to cool down, it's gonna get mushy like that. But sometimes this is delicious. Like this, sometimes that's the way you, you make pizuki. You cool it, it's not cooked all the way, but it is cooked enough for you to eat. Okay, matter of fact, mm, follow me. 
If you want to step this up just a little bit. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, if you want to step this up with the bean, take your vanilla. Oh. Take a spoon. Oh. And put it right here, okay? Right there. And then use that gradual heat to melt it just a little bit, okay? I'm gonna dye it, but I'll do this for you guys. And then, that's how you literally make a cookie sandwich, okay? Can you say cookie, 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 cookie? Oh. Hmm. Don't go to restaurants and buy cookie things because you can literally make a cookie just as delicious in your own home. Mmm. This is literally nothing better than homemade cookie. This is sick. Mmm. And then if you wait long enough, it's gonna be all crispy. Mmm. Ah. And if you really, really want to, put some ice cream in there. Mm. Mm. There's one last life hack I really want you guys to see. All right, you guys ready? So what you wanna do here, take your uh, ice cream scooper. You put one. You put two scoops, grab a little cookie, and you got yourself an ice cream sandwich. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>